Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a job, a couple jobs coming up that require some pressure. So what we did was we went out and got this DeWalt DXPW 3625 pressure washer. This is kind of your entry level professional washer. It's got the Honda GX200 engine and it also has the triplex pump, which is supposed to be the top of the line pump for pressure washers. And uh, this is 3600 PSI. This thing should do the job without a problem. Uh, we also did order the surface cleaner and also the turbo nozzle, but um, we didn't get the Walt brand because a little higher than they should be priced. We went with Simpson, uh, fit for this PSI. They should be here tomorrow. So we'll show you those, those when they come in. So today we're just gonna be opening this up and putting it together. I think all you gotta do is mount the handle to it and then add the oil if it came with it, which I believe it does. And then uh, after that, we'll uh, take it over there to our first job and show you how it works over there, how easy it is to start, because you know them Honda reliability for starting. So we're gonna see how that is, see how noisy it is also, and then uh, see how fast it'll get that job done. Faster it gets done, the better for us. And then we go on to the next one. So with that being said, let's get this box busted open. We're not really gonna do an unboxing, we're just gonna pull it out of here and show you. Get this open, pull it out and show you what we got. All right, let's get this popped open. See, first thing we got that handle I was telling you guys about that's the first thing I'm gonna set that aside here cardboard please recycle we have wow that's nice 20 there's 25 foot of hose here it's 3 8 or it does um, up to 4500 psi it says it's 3 8 hose looks pretty nice you can see the braid in between it it's pretty cool We'll set that on that cardboard. What else did we get? We got, this is your uh, books with all your warranty information. You're gonna want that. Here is another bag with uh, all your nozzles. It comes with all your spray nozzles. They go in that handle. They have like the 15 degree, 20 degree, all that good stuff. And also here comes the, the thing for the soap where it has the filter on it. Then these are the two nuts we're gonna to need to put the uh, handle on, so keep that close. And it did come with oil, so I think this is, I don't know if this is just the same right amount we need or we'll have to read to make sure. All right, let's try to pull this out. Ugh. Boom. Your wand extension. And that is it, guys. Oh, check out this cool handle, though. It's got the, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Got that side handle, it makes the pressure washing a little easier for you. I like that. So, pretty cool. Let's get this handle mounted. Show you how easy that is. Just take your, the foam they put on there, put that in the garbage. There's some on this end too. We'll take that off. Here's your two knobs with the bolts. My camera guy says to speak louder, but I don't know why. My mic's right next to my face. I guess it don't matter which way you put the bolts in. Looks like it'll work either way. All right, now we got our handle mounted. That was pretty easy. We're gonna put all our nozzles into the holder it's got. It's nice thick rubber. It looks like it'll hold it good. And it's color matched too, so. We're going to take our red one, put 
put it in there yellow one which is the 15 degrees then we got the green one which is 25 degrees the white which is 40 and then of course your soap nozzle if you're dispensing soap that's it right there you can see down here at the gas tank telling you to save your take care of your engine use ethanol shield if you can use just straight ethanol free fuel that'd be the best if we can get it <clears throat> warnings all over this thing no end oil in the engine so make sure you put that in before you take that off before starting engine remove the red ship plug which is this on the top of the pump and install the breather cap that's right here so we'll do that you can see this is that triple a triplex pump really nice pump uh, I noticed on this one it has a black tank but on a lot of them you'll see them they come with the white tank I'm not sure why they went to go with the black but it looks all right I guess um, yeah there's the Honda GX 200 so it's a pretty nice compact unit too so let's take a look at the book and see how much oil it needs and then we will uh, give this thing a test okay guys this is the oil that came in this this is what we're supposed to add to the unit before we start using it so let's get this put in so we don't forget there's tags on here telling you to put this in so you shouldn't forget but let's do this first i'll show you what we got to do down here and also there's that one vent on the pump itself we have to change that out it has a note there for you too so let's go down here and get those things done okay you can see down here this is where we got to put our oil in this is also the dipstick and like I said, there's tags on here telling you there's no oil in the engine. Make sure we put it in before starting. And then up here, there's also the label for the fuel treat. Uh, if you can get non-ethanol fuel, it would be better, like I mentioned. But I'll uh, show you over here, we got some uh, ethanol treat there that we use. Um, so let's get this oil put in here. Like I said, you're just going to open this up. You can see it's the dipstick also, set that aside. And then the, your bag's got a nice spout on it. We're just gonna pour that in there nicely and get that filled up. Okay, one other thing we gotta do here is that this comes with the, it says right on it before, see if you guys can see it, before starting engine, remove the ship, red shipping plug, which is this up here, and install the breather cap, which comes in this bag. So we're going to remove this plug. Just use a flat blade, we'll probably get that off for you. Pull that plug. Bing. You might want to keep it aside. You might need it at some point. Then we're going to open this bag. Whoa. Pull out the breather. Just screw that in there. So that's done. We did that. And then here, no engine oil. We did that. So we're going to pull this off. We did check the level. We're good for right now. Uh, it's got a small... You know, you run it for a little while, it's like a break in and then you'll change your oil again. But we have the, that off now. Next will be the fuel that we're going to, we'll take this off once we put the fuel in and put the fuel treat. So let me go over here and show you the fuel treat that we use for the ethanol fuel. So you know what you wanna put in your system. I mean, there's many varieties, but we use this one. So we'll show you that. All right, guys, this is what we use. We use the Staybill 360 Marine. We use this on our boat too. It's an ethyl treatment and stabilizer, but this one has the vapor technology, which helps coat everything. A little bit more, but I think it's worth it in the long run. So we'll treat our fuel with this when we put it in the tank. Uh, what we have left to do is we gotta put the hose onto the wand, and then we'll put that onto the pressure washer. Oh, one note, on this side too of the engine, you could see right here is another oil port. You could. I mean, you fill from there if you want. I just fill from the dipstick side, but either way would work just fine. And then, like I mentioned, this finally came. This is our uh, surface cleaner. We did buy the Simpson because the DeWalt was priced out of where it should have been. And this is like this is a steel deck construction. It's a it's a nice one. And we also bought the Simpson turbo nozzle for those spots that we can't use the surface cleaner. These things work awesome. So I think, let's see, let's get this opened. It's a pretty basic system. It pretty much comes together. Nothing else in there. 
So you can see it has the quick change nozzle. You're just gonna hook on the end of your pressure washer and this is ready to go. This is the same way. You can see the quick change end. That just hooks on the end of your wand. You'd be good to go with that too. So what we're gonna do next is just uncoil this hose, get it hooked up to the end of here and also get it hooked to our system. And then we'll get the water hose hooked up and then we can give this thing a try. Get this unwrapped. A note too, which we already did, was on the end of here, you got these two rubber seals. You might want to put a little grease on there. We put a little um, silicone type grease on there, so that'd be good for those. Then we're going to hook that into the end of our wand. Goes on really easy. Like that. Then we got our wand extension. You can see here, it's gonna screw into here. We also, on this end, loop those seals. So you're gonna to wanna to have those done. They dry out and then the seals break and then it leaks all over on you. Screw that in. Like that. You'll probably, I mean, it should be tight enough, but you might wanna get a wrench on there. So there's our wand. I like that, that, that side handle there. Gives you a little more control. Like I was showing you guys with these quick connects. You just pull them off. They, they shoot right in the end there. Just same thing with the surface cleaner. You just hook it right in the end, you're ready to go. But this turbo nozzle, this will do a good job on those spots so you can't get just flat spots. Like say on the edge of a curb or something like that. Let's bust this open. Like I said, this is a pretty nice surface cleaner. Being the Simpson, being a lot cheaper than the DeWalt brand, but uh, it still has a max of 3,700 PSI. And then when you look on the box, it says 3,600. So it actually does say 3,700 on the box, but uh, we're covered because our unit's only 3,600. Same thing. Hooks right on, you can see that. Just popped right on. So we're about ready. We're gonna hook the other end of this hose up to the, the pressure washer and then get some water flowing to it because you don't wanna run them without water to the pump. And then we'll give it a test. All right guys, we got our zero G hose hooked up to the spigot over there. And on this side of your pump is where you're gonna hook in your garden hose. And then over here is where you're gonna hook up the other hose that goes to your wand. So we're gonna get this hooked up not going to be easy to do one hand, so I'm just going to hook this up in the other hose. We'll turn on the water and see how easy this is to start for the first time. And I'll show you the procedure for starting that. A couple things you got to do, like turn on the fuel, turn on the, turn on the, like choke to a third, and then turn on the on switch. So actually I was able to get that one handed. All right, now I'm just going to hook that one up and then we will give this thing a start. All right, guys, we got everything going. We got the gas in the tank with the fuel stabilizer. With that kind we use, it only takes like a half ounce for that size tank. Actually, one ounce treats 10 gallons, so I put like a half ounce in there. Now, the next thing you're supposed to do is get all the air pressure out of your line. So we just press and hold that for like 30 seconds. So it works all the air out of the hose and the, the pressure hose line. You'll know, it'll seem pretty solid. It'll spit and sputter a little bit. So you guys can hear the air coming out of it still. That's what you're waiting for. That's why you gotta do it for like 30 seconds. You wanna make sure all that's out of there so your pump gets a good prime. All right guys, now that we got the pressure out of the hose line, we're gonna, to get our start our start procedure, we're gonna come on this side of the engine. You guys can't really see it, but there's a red knob. You turn that to the on position. That's so you can start the engine. Next thing you wanna do is down here on the bottom, just turn that bottom black lever all the way to the right. That turns on your fuel. And the next, for, since this is a cold start, we're starting for the first time. We're gonna take this gray lever, take that all the way to the right. That puts the choke fully on. 
And then here's our throttle right here. We're just gonna go part of the way with that. Since we're starting it cold, we don't need it full throttle. So we just did that about third of the throttle. And now we're gonna give this a couple tugs and we'll see how easy it starts. One pull, guys. That's from brand new out of the box. Never started. One pull. That's that Honda reliability. It starts really easy every time. So let's get over here, try a little bit on the ground. Then we'll go to our first job and see what it looks like. All right, guys, we're going to get this spot we did in a previous video with the DeWalt uh, battery powered pressure washer. We're going to clean this spot. So let's crank up the RPMs on this and get going. Well, there you have it guys i would say that works pretty good i mean that turbo nozzle with 3600 psi cleans that like i mean the speed of that's crazy so we're going to take all this stuff over to our first job and we got that whole big patio to do i'll show you guys a little bit of that maybe time lapse it or something short so you can see uh the progress before and after well guys here we've been here for a couple hours getting this this uh job done we got this whole patio part done this one's pavers and concrete uh it looks amazing compared to what it did look like. Um, we can give you, we'll probably try to leave some before and after pictures up in here to show you what actually what it looks like. Um, the one issue we did come across with our stuff is this Simpson pre surface cleaner. It, it sucks. Uh, that's our honest opinion on it. Uh, this thing here it seems to turn freely when you spin it like that. But once you put it behind pressure in the pressure wash, it just does one of these. And it doesn't clean whatsoever. So it's not... And this is rated at 3,700 PSI. Our pressure washer is only 36. So this should easily be able to handle it without having an issue. But it definitely has an issue with the water pressure behind it and it won't spin at all. So we're gonna send this one back and then we're gonna go buy that DeWalt one, I guess, give that one a try. Cause that's the other 15 inch 3,700 PSI rated pressure or surface cleaner. And all right guys, like I mentioned, this one here was giving us lots of problems. The Simpson where the the thing on the bottom would not turn with the pressure on it. Don't know why, it has the right rating and everything. So we did go out and get the DeWalt one. That was the next one kind of in line. This one is an 18 inch, whereas that one's a 15 inch. That didn't really matter. But once we hooked this one up, that that spun like easy, like day and night different. So this one worked really well. This one is the DXPA 37SC. It is double the cost of that one, but it's you'll thank yourself in the long run i know it's more up front but this one definitely does the job a lot better bigger area too so you get your job done a little quicker worth it in the long run if you're only doing a job one job at your place or something you might not want to unless you can get rid of it or use it for other things but sending that one back they'll be here today to pick that up pick this one up works much much better then we can finish up the other half of this patio and get this job complete but um, the 3600 watt DeWalt pressure washer, I highly recommend that. Easy start. You guys seen it earlier in the video. One pull and that was out of the box. So we can't beat that. Um, I'm still on the same tank of fuel. So I'd say it's pretty fuel efficient as well. It runs like, like a long time on one tank of gas. And don't forget that um, ethanine, eth yeah, ethanol treatment stuff in there because you don't want to mess up your carburetor and stuff. Um, but that's about it. For this video guys if you guys got any questions or comments please hit us up down below we do answer all of them any questions about this unit or the simpson surface cleaner or the turbo nozzle that we showed in the video give us a hit up on that we'll let you know about those uh don't forget to hit that thumb thumbs up and that subscribe to our channel it helps that algorithm and lets youtube know we're helping you guys out and that helps us out you know we want to grow as well 
And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know next time we post another video. We're putting them out one a week. So um, until next time, guys, try something new.